Hello and welcome to the East 15 Acting School in London, England. My name is Annalise and I will be your unofficial tour guide today. Right now I'm coming up on my last term of my first year in my MFA in acting program and before coming to the school and like starting studying here, I had never been here in person, let alone coming to England. This place was much different than I expected and Google Earth can only show you so much. So I knew I wanted to make this unofficial virtual tour, emphasis on the unofficial, for any potential East 15 students who were looking to come here. I wanted to get a little sneak peek as to what their future home was going to look like. And if you're somebody watching this video who isn't a future East 15 student, well, I hope you enjoy this tour of the place that I call home right now. Coming along on this tour with me is my lovely cameraman, Keaton. Say hello. Hi. Keaton is also in my MFA program with me, and we've been learning a lot about this place together. But speaking of this place, we are currently at the Loughton campus of the East 15 Acting School because there are indeed three different campuses. There's this one in Loughton, there's one in Colchester, and one in Southend. And speaking of Loughton, let us introduce you to... There's a car coming. Loughton! This school is like right off a of main road and to explain where this school is, we are in the town of Loughton in the region slash county of Essex in the city of London. So whatever you say, it's all correct. But let's get out of Loughton and go into East 15. So welcome to East 15. When you walk on campus, this is like the first thing you're gonna see. And it's also like the only thing you're gonna see if you Google this place. And this is Hatfield's house. This is like the main icon of this school. It's where reception is. There's some classrooms in there. A lot of singing rooms are like in here. They've got instruments and pianos and whatever. And then at the top of this building is where a lot of tutors and professors um, offices are gonna be. There's also a few other rooms in here. So if you do end up coming to the school, I recommend taking a look around, but you will probably get to know this building a lot or at least take a cute picture in front of it on your first day of school. But we're gonna go to the left side of Hatfield's house and go see the back of campus. Okay, so our first stop on this campus tour is the new builds buildings because they are the newest builds, the newest built buildings on campus. <laughs> In this building here, there are a lot of movement classes that happen in here, but a ton of different type of classes can happen because in here is just a whole bunch of blank rooms that are open for whatever you want to use it for, but I would say mostly movement classes happen in here. In this smaller little section of the building, I've seen music classes happen in there too. If you end up coming over here, NB is what the classrooms will be listed as, like NB1 or NB2, and this is actually the only building on this side of campus because if we turn this way, you'll see a big open empty field. Uh, the only little interesting tidbit is that shed back there, that black shed has a lot of like furniture and props in it. So if you end up doing a show here, you'll probably at some point in time, come get stuff from that little shed. But we are going to move from this empty side of campus to where mainly all the main action happens. And we're gonna take a tour behind Hatfields and I'm just gonna speed this little journey up. So if you wanna just jump to where we're going next, you can go to this timestamp. If not, enjoy the time lapse. Okay, welcome to like the main side of campus. Uh, this is where the most of the things happen. And so let's start with this building behind us, which is the dance studio. This is the largest space on campus. A lot of movement classes happen in here, combat classes, but also scene showcases happen in this room because there's lights and there's it's a really big space. So you can set up a little theater in there. If you ever have a class in here, it'll be listed as DS. And just to give you like a perspective check, we just came from that little staircase over there. And in order to get into this room, just on the other side of these bushes is where the entrance is. There's also bathrooms in here too. The next building is this pretty building here. And this is the Courtyard Studios, also known as the CS building because all the classes are listed as CS, CS1, CS7, whatever. And this is where I would say a lot of the acting classes happen. And honestly, just anything that's not movement because these rooms are the smallest on campus. Rehearsals happen in here, singing class, articulation, voice, literally anything happens in here. Also, supposedly there is a, a recording studio in that room, but I have yet to been in there. Be in there? 
I've yet to gone in there. So maybe one day we'll see what the inside looks like. But they're all just really basic four walls, some props, really chill stuff. Also during Christmas time, there's a beautiful Christmas tree that goes here and it's like my favorite thing and it looks so pretty. But we will go ahead and turn this way where you can see like the court yard the yard i don't know what you want to call this and it's like so pretty now that it's starting to be spring and this is where a lot of people come out and just like chill during lunch or even some classes will happen out here too like i saw some undergrads doing sword fighting out here we've had warm up with voice out here every part of this small campus is used because it kind of needs to be because we don't have a lot of space we're gonna move down uh, to this big conglomerate con conglomerate big chunk of buildings <laughs> So this big chunk of buildings has a lot of bits to it, starting with this part over here. This is where the library is. Now the library only takes up the top half of this building. And if you go through these double doors, there's a staircase that takes you up there. And what's really great about this library is even though we're on the Loughton campus, which is really far away from the two other campuses, if you find in like the catalog online at the other campuses, a book you want to check out, you can actually have it sent here. I haven't used that service yet, but that's cool if you need it. There's also computers and it's a really nice place to just go and like chill and study or just get away from everybody, especially during lunchtime. Speaking of lunchtime, the place where we have lunch is the student union or the cafeteria or the canteen for you British folks. So in here, there's cafeteria style dining where they cook fresh food and they like make up their own recipes, which is really cool. But you can get some snacks here like chips or drinks and whatnot. In the evening, it actually turns into a bar. So if you're into that, that's available to you. And this is the place where most people congregate. There we go. That's <laughs> It's the place where most people congregate because it's got chairs and tables, couches, a TV, a foosball table, tons of fun stuff in there. But that's like the main hub of campus. So let's um, let's actually go down. And they also serve breakfast and lunch. Yes, they do serve breakfast and lunch. Real quick perspective check. There's the dance studio, the courtyard studios, and then over here is Hatfield's house, this beautiful brick building. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so just to do another little bit of a perspective check, uh, this is the other side of the SU. This is like the main entrance. The doors that we actually walked past on that side won't open from the outside. They're only one-way doors. Um, but this is how most people go into the SU. There's also these tables here where people can sit and enjoy their lunch. And then that building, there we go. It's the front of Hatfield's house. That's where we first started in the rose garden and everything wow okay so there is one more very important building on this campus and that is the only theater on this campus and that is the corbett theater i wish i had information like how many seats it held or whatever it's a rather small theater there is lights and a light board and there is right seating and this is where east 15 puts on like their main shows so we will be doing a show there next term which is really exciting and some classes happen in here but it's not super often these doors lead you to the box office and this is also like the main entrance to the theater there are double doors that we'll get to in a second that is the exit but otherwise if you're coming to the thor thorbit if you're coming to the Corbett, you're coming here. <laughs> Before we end the tour, I guess we can show off the cute little pond. Honestly, one of the selling points. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. This is the pond. It's, it's really cute. And there's some benches and sometimes you'll see people rehearsing scenes out here. I've seen like acting for the camera scenes being like taped out here. There's a proper staircase or this man-made path. Um, yeah, it's just really nice to come and sit out here. It's really pretty. And especially now that the weather is getting better, it's probably going to be a place that a lot of people come and hang out. But uh, let's wrap up this tour by showing you the other side of the Corbett Theater. All right. Very exciting. But here's the other side of the Corbett Theater. Like I mentioned, those are the double doors for the potential exodus of people after a show. This, this, is, this is about it. Nothing real exciting on this side, but the Corbett Theater sign. And we are in a parking lot, um, just a little note, no student parking anywhere on campus. So this is only for staff and school vehicles. One thing that I did want to point out is if we go this way, 
that's the library. That's the top of the library. So now you know where you are in regards to the other side. And this little path here is like my favorite little path onto campus because it's a ramp. Not as many people go that way. And it will take you right around to that main courtyard area where we were, where the CS buildings and the picnic tables and all that stuff was. But we are now going to go from campus and exit. Ooh, we can't actually exit this way because it's Saturday and the gates are closed on this side. <laughs> <laughs> but here's another path to exit the school. We'll, we'll go around and show it to you, but this is like, I would say, the secondary entrance, but depending on where you live, people enter from both sides. Most mornings when I come to school, I enter from this way because it's just like 100 feet, 200 feet closer. And now we're sort of back where we started. It's hard to tell, but just behind these bushes over here, is the first entrance, what I call the main entrance. And then this is like the entrance to the core bit, but you can also walk in this entrance. So entrance number two. Wait, or should we cut let's, we, let's cut through the grass. Welcome to the field. This is just a big old patch of grass that does nothing except when we do fire drills. This is where uh, everybody meets. Just over this little hump is the pond, you can see Hatfields peeking out in the back. If we go a little bit more this way, you can see the tops of the Corbett Theater and the SU. Then we're back to the entrance or the secondary entrance. You can see Latin peeking through those gates. And then the main entrance, this main little path. Let's go. <laughs> And that completes our tour of East 15. It's a really small campus, as you can see. I think there's a total of... There's five buildings on this campus. It's a really small campus, but it's cute and quaint. And if that's something that you're into, you will really love it here. And with that, I have to say, thank you for coming along on the tour with me. Uh, thanks again to Keaton, the wonderful camera person. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. I hope it was helpful for you. And if you're somebody who, like I said, is not planning on coming here ever, well, I hope you just enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing my school and where I spend a lot of my days right now. Of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. If you want to know anything else about my journey here at East 15, leave it down in a comment and I'd love to answer your questions. But uh, that is it for me. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!